So the next thing that we're going to do is add some more parts so that our web page can look, will look more stunning. We're also going to add more pages so that it's not just a web page, but it's actually a website like School Loop has multiple pages and they sort of all look the same. So, you know, you're in School Loop or a Wikipedia page looks very similar to any other Wikipedia page with the same type of heading. So we will be creating a few more pages in the site that we've already created. Um, before we start, I do want you to take a look at your blog. I mean, not your blog, but your Dash Project 2. It does look visually stunning. I know some of you didn't weren't able to finish it the way you liked it, but you learned all the pieces to make your project as, as definitely nearly or, or as or even more nice than, than this one. So I'd like our goal to be to make our Anytown page as at least as stunning. Um, to do that, let's use Dash so we don't have to work harder. Um, we can work a little smarter. So if you go to Dash, let's go to um, Project 2, the third one, so that we have all the same code. Um, if you finish the lesson, your code will look the same. And one thing that we did is we wrapped each like title of paragraph and the button, all in the article tag. We'll need to do that so we can style it. So our page has this nice uh, padding so it doesn't go all the way across. So uh, knowing that, let's go to our Visual Studio Code. <coughs> and we're simply going to wrap most things in an article tag. So um, things to do will be our first article. Command X that. And underneath um, our unordered list, we're going to close that article. Now, since that's all inside the article tag, now we're going to need to tab over everything inside the article tag so it's easy to find. OK, same thing here. I'm going to make an article tag. And after my A tag, which was the reference for Unsplash, I will paste in the closing article tag and then uh, tab over everything inside. right above the next H2. And I'm going to tab over everything. Best zoo in town. After the A tag, and only one more, how to get there after my ordered list. OK, so I've just put everything like I've got my ordered list inside an article. I've got my best zoo in town on, in an article. Um, looks like everything's not, if you look at my example, hopefully yours is fixed. My article somehow went to the left here, so that is not correct. I'm going to tab all that over. Yeah, that's better. And then all of this should be just cleaned up. It's called nesting inside, and it just wasn't nested properly. That looks better. Okay. So now I've got everything in an article tag, which will be helpful later. And the next thing I want to do is create this nice looking uh, header at the top. So in this example, Ms. Milton's blog, this is the header. And then I have uh, the information down here. That looks really nice. So we're going to create this for hours. Uh, so if you just copy line 50 through 
um, 58. That's the header tag. Just go ahead and copy that. Good from good old Jeff. And I'm going to go up here right underneath body of my code and paste that header tag in. Nice. Um, now let's just see what happens. I'm going to save that and go back and check out my Anytown page. And okay, broken link because the picture doesn't work. Okay, um, Jeff's blog about not exactly what I want it to look like. Definitely not as cool as this, but that's because we haven't put any uh, CSS in it yet. We're, once we get the style, we'll get that looking good. Okay, that's a good start. Back to Visual Studio Code. And just let's, instead of assets, Jeff PNG, I'm going to just put a hashtag in there and I'll put a, yeah, I'll put a uh, picture in there later. Uh, for Jeff's blog, we're going to exchange that. So on my line 18, I have of H1 visit any town. I'm going to cut that and then I'm, I'm going to delete where it says Jeff's blog, so it's gone, and paste in Visit Any Town USA. Okay, so at least that has the right heading. And then I have my list items. Uh, instead of About Me, I'm going to change that to uh, just Museums, to keep it short. Instead of uh, Best Poems, I'm going to change that to uh, Water Park. And instead of worst poems, it's going to be the zoo. Uh, that's because we have paragraphs about amazing museums, Splash Any One Water Park, and Best Zoo in Town. Uh, looking good. Let me save that and check out Any Town. Okay, at least this matches my topic. But there's one more thing I need because this is going to be a website. This is going to be the first page of the website. And then I can click over here and um, get to these pages. But I also need something called, and I also need a link to the index page. So back to Visual Studio Code. Um, I'm going to make one more list item right here. And I could type it in if you want to copy and paste and you understand how to do that, fine. Uh, but I'll just type it out because not everyone works. Their brains don't work like that. So I'm just copying href. I have a hashtag in there right now. And I'm going to call this home. And you'll see how, why that works later. All I did was add another list item. All right, somehow I've got an extra rough there. Okay, so one more time, save this and take a look. It's not going to look that great, but I did add a home button. The links don't work, but they sure look like links. Once we put links in, that will work great. Okay, next. Now I want to teach you how to make several pages. So we're going to make a, this is going to be a website of four pages, not just one page. Okay, to do that, uh, make sure that you're not in your image folder. I know you're not, but sometimes people create this in their image folder and it doesn't work. So if you just want to click on any town and open it up, you make sure you're not on the image folder. Let's go ahead and make a new file. And we're going to call this... Uh, museum, I'm going to lowercase it actually, museum.html. Let's just make one page at a time. We'll make some other pages later. Because I like to work smarter, not harder. We've already written all the code once. Let's just copy this code and paste it in our museum's page. It's obviously the wrong content, but it's a great start. Most of it is not going to change. Uh, all of your, all of your head and the top of your body 
is not going to change at all. So all through the header. Uh, once we get to the articles, they will change. We won't need our first article, the things to do. So I'm going to delete the article to where it ends. So as you see, the things to do and the unordered list and the closing article, just going to delete that. Okay. Um, amazing museums. I'm going to change that title, but for now it, it's fine. I'm going to change. Okay. Go down to the bottom where it says how to get here, where we have an ordered list. We don't need that. Uh, so that whole article to article. Okay. Uh, you've got these paragraphs and you might wonder what the content is. Well, given you the content. If you go to museums, you'll see that I have a some writing here that's done for you. There's actually four paragraphs. So uh, museums make you feel good. That's the first eight. That's the first heading. So instead of amazing museums, it's going to be museums make you feel good. Then here is the information. It's my paragraph. I'm going to copy it. And I am going to delete that and paste in this paragraph. All right, this is the best way. Uh, this image, we're going to kind of let's just go ahead and delete the image and the A tag. Cool. So that's fine. And now we're going to get the next one. So museums make you smarter. So where it says watch any one water park, paste this in and go back and copy the paragraph so you don't have to type it out. And we're going to paste that in all right cool I don't need the image or the a style tag Okay, and where it says best zoo in town, museums provide an effective way of learning. Uh, I'll paste that in as well, instead of best zoo in town, and copy the paragraph. And I will be nice and tell you, you don't have to add another paragraph. Three is fine. Okay, if you lost the p tag, you're gonna have to type it in, but yeah, it's there. And stuff is there, it's just you gotta slide to the right. It doesn't go to the next line, it just continues to the right, which is a little annoying. Okay, and finally, I'm gonna delete these two lines of code. And this is what my page should look like now. I'm gonna go ahead and save it. And it's not this page. I actually created a new page. Uh, okay, so how do I open up that new page? Because that's a different page. I've got to open up my folder and double click on museums. Now that's nice that I've got two pages of tons of information, but it'd be nice to connect them. So when I click home, I actually go to this page. And when I click museums, I go to this page. So I'm going to show you how to connect them. Uh, before we do that, though, there's one more thing that we need. We need to give credit. So it says right here, thank you to Colleen. Ms. Milton did not write this article. I took it from the internet. So let's um, give credit on the bottom here. So uh, last thing we're going to do is create one final article. 
And in the article, we're going to call this a footer. And in the footer, I'm just going to paste this. Thank you, Colleen, for your article. Uh, this is a link. So let's uh, code it like a link. The way that you'll do that is you, if you remember, you have to make an A tag. You need to put href equals and in quotation marks, you have this link. Um, and close it. And I'm actually going to write article. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, so article. I have article written twice because I made article a link. I can go change that. Um, so I'll just take off article here and put article there. Uh, it does end with an A tag. It did that automatically when I made it. So now I have a good footer. Uh, up here at the top, it says Anytown USA. I'm going to put uh, any town museum as my title here. What I really want to do, and maybe you saw my mistake, is H1 here. I need to write any town museum. Okay, and now I can save it and refresh any town museum. Good. Okay, so. The next thing I want to do is link the pages. So uh, each of them could click from one page to another. And that's over here on this uh, header that I did. So if I'm in my museum page, I know I'm a museum because it says museum here. I want to be able to click here and go to my index. So right here where there's a hashtag, I'm going to delete that. and. All I have to do is write index.html. And I think that's right. Let me go ahead and save that and refresh. And when I click home, I'm now on Visit Any Town. Yeah, so that did go to the right spot. So let me go back to my code. Um, now that I have that, I need to go to the index page and do the same thing over here for my museum page where it says hashtag. I want this to go to museum.html. So I'm going to delete the hashtag and put museum.html. Let's see if I save this, if it'll work the way I want. So here, I'm going to refresh this page. Um, if I click on home, I'm home. If I click on museums, I go to my museum page. If I click on home, I go to the home page. I click on museums, I go to the museums page. Cool. So this is starting to look like a regular website where I can click between pages. That's fantastic. Okay. So back to Visual Studio Code. Uh, nice, I have got my content. Everything's looking pretty good. Uh, let's make a new page. I want you to go ahead and make a water park page and copy and paste the content. Uh, and I want you to make a, a zoo page and copy and paste the content. 